So today we are going to talk about a brand new specialty dining option that is coming to Princess Cruises really pretty soon. And then by the end of this week, actually on the first ship, we're going to talk about some other things to do with dining on Princess. We're going to talk a little bit about the norovirus, what's going on with it, and what are a couple of things that you might want to pack in case you get it when you are aboard a cruise ship. There are also things handy to have at home. But anyway, we're also going to talk about Holland America. She is celebrating a mile stone anniversary next week and she has announced a sale to go along with that and finally we are going to end with some fun news about an Easter celebration on a princess cruise ship so let's go ahead and get started <music> Hi there, this is Allison with Let's Go Travel Tips and today is Monday, it's April 10th of 2023. I always try to include the date because I think it's really important to know where you are at a certain point in time, those of you that watch this anything after the 10th of April. So anyway, let's start off. Princess has announced today a brand new specialty dining option on board her ships. Starting, um, it's going to be called The Catch by Rudy and The Catch is, it's a seafood restaurant and it is going to debut on The Enchanted Princess this coming Saturday, April 15th, as the Enchanted Princess comes out of Dry Dock. Now, Rudy, R-U-D-I is how you spell his first name. Rudy Solomon is the head of the Director of Culinary Arts for Princess Cruise Lines. He has actually been in the cruise ship culinary business for a really long time, like 40 years. So he has worked for Princess, Holland America, Royal Caribbean, and Norwegian. So he is very familiar with putting together wonderful dinners for passengers on cruise ships. So like I said, it's going to roll out there on the Enchanted Princess this Saturday. I think it's really fun because that happens to be my birthday. She's coming out of dry dock and that restaurant will be available for those of you who sail April 15th and after. So there are three other ships, Princess's other three newest ships that will also be having that option available. So first of all, the Majestic Princess is going to have that option available starting on May 5th and that is just in time for all of her Alaska sailings. So if you happen to have a Sailing on the Majestic Princess booked for the Alaska season it will be available starting May 5th. Also um, let's see it's going to be available on the Sky Princess starting on May 7th. She will be sailing from Southampton on her Scandinavian and Baltic itineraries for this summer and then this fall not until this fall will that restaurant be available on the Discovery Princess. So look for it when you're on board. I think it's amazing. The price point is $39 a person. I don't know about where you live, but where we live, we cannot go out to a nice dinner for $39 a person, let alone for seafood. So I think this is going to be a really fun and also like um, overall economical opportunity. If you want to go out for a nice dinner while you're on board the ship, uh, you'll be able to enjoy that. It talks about you can order surf and turf. Now sometimes, like when you're in the Crown Grill, for example, and you want to do that surf and turf, you have to pay an extra charge. So in their press release, they did not talk about extra charges, but I am guessing that for some of the menu options, you're going to have an extra charge. But it sounds like they're going to have really good Good options available for those um, who book just didn't want to just pay that $39. By the way, the Catch by Rudy is going to replace Bistro Sir de la Mer while they are um, on the ships that um, the Catch by Rudy will be on. And truthfully, I could have seen this coming. The last several times we have been on our Princess cruise ship that has had that uh, Bistro Sir de la Mer restaurant on board, it has not been packed. And uh, we have eaten there before. The food is excellent. I don't think it's the food. I don't know if not as many people prefer that kind of food um, or what or what but I have noticed that that restaurant has really been packed and that could easily just be the sailings that we were on so um, but anyway it will no longer be an option as the catch by Rudy uh, replaces it on those cruise ships a few of the things that they talked about um, they said that they're going to have some normal um, seafood dishes that we're used to some reimagined ones it just sounds like there's going to be a lot of really good food available there 
in the Catch by Rudy. So those of you who have a cruise booked on the Enchanted Princess coming up, you get to enjoy it. But if you happen to be sailing April 15th or after, we're going to be really excited to hear from you and um, so that you can tell us all about it, how it looks and um, how the food is, just everything. It's always really exciting. And um, when there's a new specialty restaurant, and I would add, that those specialty restaurants have really taken off on cruise ships. As you look at the trends for what is going on in cruising, specialty restaurant is absolutely um, one of the things I think that is across the board, something that the cruise lines are doing. It's not only a good um, money-making venture for them because they get to charge extra for it, I think it's also very handy because it takes some of the pressure off those main dining rooms. Often people who enjoy that main dining room experience will enjoy the specialty dining. It gives a little bit more special of a dinner as often you get even better service in those. Um, although, I don't know, the last time we did the Crown Grill, it wasn't that great of service. But that was, um, you know, the last time we did that was on the Caribbean Princess in January of 2022 so it's been over a year so we will look forward to trying that on another princess cruise but anyway it gives you um, a little bit more of a celebratory dinner if you're going for your anniversary or a birthday something special so put that on your list of things to check out um, I also think the cruise lines are looking at it as something to increase the experience I know that some people who aren't um, don't particularly enjoy specialty dining that probably doesn't apply to you but for the people that enjoy that this is a whole nother option and it'll be really fun to hear about now um, a few things um, a, a really quick reminder when you are going to want to book whether it's specialty dining or a certain time in the main dining room to dine on board a princess ship it is really important to use that app. So if you are not familiar, Princess has their own app, and when you go in the app, there's a heading, it says Dine My Way is one of the things that you can click on. When you do that, you've got the option if you want to set up the same time dining every day, or if you want it on a different day, or if you want it at a specialty restaurant. So when you, um, and then here's the other thing to know, so there's the app to schedule that, which is by far the best way to do it, but also another thing that's really important to keep in mind is if you are Platinum or Elite, as soon as you make your deposit on your cruise, usually you can go ahead and book your dining right then. Everyone else who is not Platinum or Elite yet, you uh, can go ahead and book your dining once your cruise is paid in full. That doesn't mean you have to wait until your final payment date to, to make that payment in full, but that is the point that that will open up for you to schedule your dining. And so I know that some people aren't crazy about the app, but um, may as well grab hold because that's the way, the direction that all of the cruise lines are going to manage things. And it is really the best way to try to get access to the dining times that you want in the main dining room and also specialty dining. If you are not able to get what you want when you get on board the ship, truly the best way to get a dining time at the main dining room is go talk to the maitre d'. I would be there first thing or, um, and it depends on, I would say, which ship you're on. I have been on some ships that, you know, the dining room is open for a little while during embarkation day. You could go talk to the maitre d' of the dining room that's open. Some are more accommodating than others, but it's really important that you go ahead and just make your reservation at that time or go at five when it opens and talk to the maitre d' at that point, okay? The thing about the specialty dining, sometimes, especially if you're in a suite, you can um, call down to customer service and they will help you. Um, or if you're elite, sometimes they will help you be able to get a reservation at a specialty dining restaurant, but that can't be guaranteed because sometimes they are just full. So I wanted to make sure that you know about that. Alrighty, really quick, somebody, the other day I mentioned that there are three main dining rooms on the Island Princess. Someone mentioned that they only see two. On our app, we are able to schedule dining for the three main dining rooms of the Botticelli, the Michelangelo, and the Da Vinci. And so when you're looking at scheduling dining on the Island Princess, those are the three main dining rooms. Wanted to let you know about that. And then, um, Finally, we also, so let me know any other questions that you've got about main dining, um, main dining room, specialty dining, the buffet, anything else on Princess. Because uh, my husband and I have experienced it a lot and we have a wealth, we have so many amazing Let's Go family members who are so happy to share their experience. So whatever you're looking at, we can help you figure it out. 
Now, um, I thought it was fun. One of you mentioned in one of your comments after on Saturday, I mentioned that the Enchantment of the Seas on Royal Caribbean had a delayed embarkation because of the norovirus and also the Caribbean princess did. They asked why um, is it that the virus seems to only be reported on the Caribbean princess for four months? Why not choose another ship or cruise organization or give a context of what is trans? throughout North America. So really quickly, when the CDC gave their warning about the norovirus a couple of months ago, I did report on that. And so um, it's really important. You know what? I know a lot of you are new. Now that you're new, stick with us if you wouldn't mind, because um, we're not like a soap opera, but we do build news day after day after day after day. And so I'd love to have you watch every day with us because then you can add so much to it too. But I did let everyone know when the CDC um, released that warning about how much norovirus there is going to be. And indeed, there's a lot of norovirus going on on land. Um, the reason that I let you know about the Caribbean princess is because one of you was so kind to let me know. Same with Enchantment of the Seas. Another Let's Go family member let me know. I remember when the Ruby Princess down in Galveston was in the news for the norovirus as well. So just know that there is a lot of norovirus going on. I really appreciate the updates for very specific ships on what is going on. I wanted to let you know that um, someone who is on board the Caribbean Princess right now um, let us know that not only did they have that delayed um, embarkation due to it, but there are also extra protocols due in, um, on board right now. And one of them is that the buffets are not self-serve. And so if anyone has anything else to share about that, let us know. Um, I really appreciate letting me know. And then I thought about it, you know, norovirus is like a gastrointestinal upset issue um, that make, it makes you really sick there. So I would take with me, and I take this with us everywhere that we go, and indeed I could do a packing video about what we take in our medicine, but I always take like Imodium with us, I always take Pepto-Bismol, I take Zofran, that's prescription uh, medicine that you can take to help you not throw up so much. Um, just lots of things. Think of what helps you when you're sick like that and always take some with you because you never know when you're going to need it. So those are some things just to keep in mind. Um, I know that there are lots of other things out there so share what you take with you um, in case you get norovirus when you're on a ship. And I do know that um, Several people that have gotten it have mentioned contacting the mental, medical center there and have um, received, um, of course, help that way as well with medicine that they need. Finally, here's a question for all of you. We've got Let's Go family members who went on the Regal Princess to celebrate their anniversary last week, um, the last week of March, I should say, sorry. And they are wondering, do you guys know if they did away with the little celebration cakes for two? I know that Princess used to have those. I know that now as a travel advisor, I can't order those right now. Um, I even double checked when I saw this. You can't do that. I can order, um, I can order like cakes for people and I can order celeb um, anniversary celebration um, separately, but I can't order an anniversary cake per se for a certain time in the main dining room. So can you guys let us know if any of you have had the pleasure of enjoying one of those little celebration cakes for two in the main dining room lately? That would really help all of us out and know what is to look for on these anniversary cruises because cruising for an anniversary is popular and it is really, really special. One thing that I love about going away on a cruise and even even though Gordon and I try to vlog and try to do videos still, it is a really special time for us away from everything, right? We're not both trying to do our jobs all day long like we are at home and it just takes away a lot of the worries and a lot of the things and you just get this really special time away. And so I think that going on a cruise for an anniversary is a really good idea. So if you need help with that, you are, I'd love to hear from you. Send me an email and I would be delighted. But um, let us know about those cakes. Now, Holland America, this is huge. I did not realize this about Holland America. So I know that on April 18th, which is really fun, it's um, uh, the April, April 18th of 2023 is officially Holland America's 150th anniversary. It happens to be Gordon and I's 37th. But um, anyway, so I thought it was fun that it's the same day. They are doing huge celebrations in Rotterdam there in the Netherlands to celebrate because that's where she originated. And we have that special sailing like Tony is on from Lolita Loca. He is on the sailing that goes from New York to Southampton, right? Not to Southampton, to Rotterdam to celebrate um, that special milestone for Holland America. 
Here is one thing I did not realize. Did you know that during, um, when everybody was coming, not everybody, but when there was so much immigration to the United States from Europe, did you know that Holland America brought one in every 10 immigrants from Europe to the US? I didn't realize that until just not too long ago. And so to me, that shifts a little bit about what I think about Holland America. I always think of them as like a very special cruise line. They have a lovely experience on board. It's one of the reasons that I chose Holland America for our Alaska group cruise that we've got going on May 27th this year. Uh, but it also, just um, it, from an historical standpoint, what Holland America did is really, really important. And I just like to think about that, and I'm going to do more research on it uh, personally to find out more about that. But um, I will add that if you don't have a cruise booked to Alaska yet this year, and you would like to go with a really fun group of people, and we are not a huge group by any stretch of the imagination, but if you would love to come with us, that cruise is cheaper than it was. I have referred everyone who was on that cruise. Um, it is cheaper than you would expect, at least what I would expect to go to Alaska. And so if you would like to consider coming with us, we'd love to have you. Just send me an email. Like I said, she sails. Uh, it's round trip round trip from Seattle on May 27th and it's on the Eurodom and they did take Glacier Bay and Icy Strait Point off but we still get to go to Juneau and Ketchikan and um, Sitka and we still get to see the Hubbard Glacier and cruise through the Stevens Passage so it is still a remarkable cruise like a remarkable cruise and when you see the Hubbard Glacier you're going to know why cruise ships take people to the Hubbard Glacier spectacular. So I anyway, just wanted to invite you if you would like to come. So Holland America is having an anniversary sale to go with their um, to go with their special 150th anniversary. So they are going to do um, they're adding discounts to, to their uh, cruise fare and so be aware that when you go on Holland America's website and you look at the fare, don't take an extra 35% off or 40% off whatever. It is included in what they're showing there and it depends on which sailing it is, how much more is off and how much onboard credit you will get, but um, you get up to 45% off they say and up to $150 of onboard spending money per person and of course that depends on which category of stateroom you book and how long your voyage is um, and they also have reduced deposits which is really handy if you've got a lot of cruises booked, you um, appreciate being able to put down a lower deposit and pay for your others and then pick it up as time goes by. But you need to book by May 4th of 2023 to take advantage of that, all right? And if you need help booking a cruise, I would be delighted to let you, to help you. So send me an email. Now the final, and my email is always in the information box below the video. Like when you look at the video and then some words, you'll see the word, um, I think it says show more, and you click on that and then it drops down the box. So I just thought it was really fun. Um, yesterday, Gordon and I did not do an Easter video. Sunday is the Sabbath to us, and so we don't do work on that day. And so since, um, usually like last year, we did an Easter video, but we did it on Saturday night so that we could put that up. So we didn't have that opportunity. So Gordon just put that message on Facebook to wish you all a happy Easter. But I just wanted to let you know that I, it was really sweet. One of our Let's Go family members posted that they were on the Royal Princess yesterday on Easter and they were able to lead um, the um, Easter services there on board. They said lots and lots of people came. It said initially the princess was just going to give them like a half an hour in the Vista Theater and then they opened it up and gave them an hour and a half in the Princess Live Theater. They said it was packed, like they had to bring in 40 more chairs. So many people were there and I just love that. So whether you celebrate Easter or you celebrate Passover, or anything else. Uh, Gordon and I just want to wish you a very warm um, Easter and a very special Easter season. To me this is such a season. It's such a special week leading up to Easter and just everything that goes into that. And I just, Gordon and I have firm testimonies that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is risen and he does come with healing in his wings. He not only saves us and helps us and helps us obtain forgiveness for our sins, but he strengthens strengthens us and carries us through and makes this life so much more livable and brings all the hope for the next. So I just want to make sure that you know that we know that and like I said, whatever you celebrate, we wish you a very warm, very warm season. So if you haven't subscribed yet, 
please do subscribe. We need you here with us and um, our Let's Go family is amazing. We have so many people that are willing to share so much experience, answer questions. Our Facebook group is is become so such an important part of our YouTube channel. So many of you share photos, you share, like I said, you answer questions so much that is wonderful and it really is, it means so much to Gordon and I. So subscribe if you haven't and if you appreciate these updates, please give this video a thumbs up. I will be, t oh, and you know what? Come to our live tonight. We are going to do our live tonight, Monday night at 9 p.m. Eastern time. Bring your questions. Be ready to have a fun time. We'd love to see you, so please do come. I'll be talking to you all again really soon. You all take really good care. God bless you. Love you. Bye-bye.